Hello, everyone. Welcome to Creative Crafters, brought to you by the Perry County Public Library and me, Miss Jessie, the Children's Youth Services Librarian. How are you today? That's wonderful. We are going to be making our very own desk cactus. Now, unlike real cactuses, we don't have to worry about this one dying. We don't have to worry about this one pricking us with its, like, little needles. This is made from pom-poms. So we're going to need a few things to get started. One, we are going to need a mini terracotta pot. So you can get these at craft stores. Um, if you don't want to use a terracotta pot, you don't have to. I've actually seen these made out of other things. You could just find, like, a little tiny bowl. You could do, like, half of an Easter egg that you had left over, which is perfectly fine. So we've got this. We've got green pom-poms, which you can get at most craft stores. You could even, if you've got green yarn, you can make your very own pom-pom to put in there. we got the very, these are like super tiny pink pom-poms to work as the cactus flower, like here, as you can see. Got little pink flowers all over there. Or you can make your very own out of yarn, out of ribbon. Um, basically, anything pink, you can make it out of paper. So, we also need a larger brown or sand-colored pom-pom, even black. That's going to work as the soil for our little pot here. And we're going to need glue guns and glue sticks. So, we want to be very careful. We do want to use a glue gun with adult supervision because these do get really hot and it can burn you. And you've, it's like... Miss Jess has, has been burned already this week, so we do want to be careful with our glue guns. So, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to get our pot, and we have our pom-pom. Now, just to save my fingers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue about halfway around the edge of my pot. You can see it's, it's so far in. I'm going to take my pom-pom and just kind of tuck it down in there. So, as you can see, this is going to be our base. That way we don't have to put them all the way down in there. We just use a bigger pom-pom and we can put it in there. If you want to put a rock in there. But, the reason why I like these terracotta pots is because they got some weight to them. And it keeps them from rocking back and forth. And, listen, the glue is so hot, I can feel the glue go through the terracotta. So, that's the reason why we want to be very careful when we use a glue gun. Next, we're going to pick out what colors we want for our cactus. You can, if you don't like cactus, you can make it look like a succulent. There's all kinds of little chuck of succulents, like uh, hens and chicks. You can do that. It'd be so fun. But I've got four different color greens that I'm going to use. So my thought is, is I'm going to start with my darker and then work my way up to lighter. So we can make them look different ways. Now we can glue our cactus together before we put it in our pot, or we can do it Build it up. So, what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to start with mine. These have just come out of the bag, so I'm going to, like, roll them around, kind of puff them up a little bit. Because they're still a little, they almost look rock-like. They've got little sharp facings to where they've been packed up against each other. And I also really like this green, like this lime green. I think this is really pretty. You even have a little mint green. So, what I think I'm going to do, you know what? I think I'm going to choose this, this color. I really like this color. I'm going to get some more of this color out. And I'm going to use that. So, we can do a traditional cactus shape. So, I can put some glue in a circle. You can see that. I'm going to take this and I'm going to press it together. I'm going to press it firmly. But we want to make sure that we don't get our fingers down there where the glue is at. Because you can see the glue on the seam. So I'm going to do that. Now remember, this is still hot. This is still drying. Now I'm going to put another little round thing of glue. We'll have glue webs. That's fine. We can pluck those off later. We're just going to press these real tight. Okay, now this kind of looks like a bookworm. It's our little inchworm. Now I'm thinking I might get it to come off to the side. So, it's whatever creativity you want to use. We can press this to the side. And I think I want to do another green. Like I said, I'm rolling this around. Trying to fluff it up. 
And see that? I'm going to stack it. I'm going to put this right here. So a lot of this is just about stacking. So I think I like that. And I'm going to put, I'm thinking, three little pink pom-poms at the top for my little flower. But you can use more. You can use less. We are going to be very careful. So we've got that. You might even want to put one down here like it's coming out. But we've got that. We've got this. So we are going to get our glue. Which I need to put a little bit more glue in mine. But at the moment I'm just going to use the edge of my scissors and press down. That should give me enough glue to work with for the moment. That way I don't have to get up and leave you guys to get the extra glue. So, I've got a glob of glue. And I have my cactus. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press that nice and firm. Now, if you make it too big, it might not want to stand up. But we, we've done well. So, this is not too big. And it's kind of light. And you might even want to put more little pom-poms around the edge. You can make it look like they're sprouting. Use smaller green pom-poms or even a bigger green pom-pom. Make it one big cactus, which would be really fun. You could put more of the little pink pom-poms on there. I might just do that. Put a little bit of glue there and put one little pom-pom here. Oh, these are so cute. And look, you could have these in your locker. You could have them in your bedroom. You could give it to a friend. You could give it to your parent. You could give it to an adult that you like that's like part of your life. And this would be a great present. So I hope that you had fun making our little pom-pom cactuses. Bye everybody.